okay so uh, just now we have studied two things over here about the magnitude which can be read by the richter scale okay one thing which I, which was left in that uh, topic was like we discuss about the seismic waves but it was not discussed that seismic wave is uh, measured by what so seismic wave is measured by an instrument which is known as seismograph okay so this was the thing which was left over there okay so uh, e either we can if you have to define what is seismograph children so we can define this seismograph is an instrument which is used to measure seismic energy okay what is seismograph children it is a, it is an instrument or device on uh, which helps to measure the seismic waves okay now uh, now we'll talk about the effects of the earthquake okay what are the effects okay so if the if the definition is required seismograph so what i can write over here it is okay if you remember what we are talking about we are talking about seismic energy so how can we define it so it is the instrument which records which records seismic energy okay as it was the part of that seismic waves okay so what is seismograph children it is the instrument which records the seismo uh, seismic energy what is a richter scale it uh, is an instrument it is a scale which records the magnitude of the uh, what a uh, magnitude of what children magnitude of the earthquake okay so now we'll talk about the effects of the earthquake so effects of the earthquake now children the effects of the earthquake uh totally depends upon two things okay the effects of the earthquake totally depends upon two things children first of all the intensity or if you want to say magnitude so okay the effects depends upon okay what uh just guess uh, just guess uh, what can be the effects of the uh, what are the two things on which the effects of the earthquake depends so what can be it first it can be the magnitude okay the magnitude of earthquake okay it depends upon what children the magnitude of the earthquake and second it depends upon the population of the area okay so it depends upon the two things children what i'm talking about i'm talking about the effects of the earthquake okay so the effects of the earthquake depends upon the two thing first is that magnitude of what magnitude the earthquake is if it is of 3 scale, like the richter scale is uh, on the richter scale if the reading is 3 then forget it okay just it has not even existed ever isn't it so but if the magnitude exceeds from 7 7.5 then you know that isn't it so first of all the first thing on which it depends upon is the magnitude of the earthquake okay so effects can be you know uh, less or more depending upon the magnitude of the earthquake please do not forget this important word now what is the second thing on which the effects depends upon is population okay now suppose the earthquake has come in some part where there is no life okay no life it's i know it's very rarely very small part is there uh, that two on the poles where there is no life 
rather like then everywhere the life is there okay but still the place if the place is highly populated obviously that destruction will be more the lives will be uh, what the more of uh, uh, hundreds and thousands of the people uh, hundred and thousand people will be losing their lives isn't it so the these two things are very very important children which two things the magnitude and the population okay now after this now we will talk about the effects of the earthquake so what happened children when earthquake occurs when this natural calamity occurs what happens what are the uh, you know, the consequences of it so uh, you might be knowing many things you might be knowing children so what happens the building falls isn't it so when the building falls the people who is there in the building obviously they are going to be uh, if they are lucky enough they will be saved or uh, obviously they will they will die isn't it so first of all it affects the buildings isn't it the building the big tall buildings they will fall isn't it so which will give to uh, like heavy uh, like lot of people will lose the lose their lives isn't it so uh, this is the major thing major result major consequence of this now after this you know the sometimes the railway tracks get collapsed the pipelines you know the pipelines gets broken and really becomes very difficult to have uh, you know the drinking water also because the, the pipelines are not there it's broken due to earthquake due to this disaster the pipeline uh, totally it gets broken sometimes even the dams the walls get broken and then you can imagine the condition of the village or the city which is just nearby to that uh, river isn't it then the floods will be there now landslides these are the one natural calamity can give rise to the second natural calamity children this is again very very disastrous isn't it now what is landslide we'll talk in detail also but just giving a gist of this so what is landslide children in uh, hilly areas or in the part where the you uh, know hills are covered by the snows snow so what happen you know when the uh, due to the tremor when the tremor is there so what happens this uh, the big stones and all this the uh, pieces of big pieces of snow it comes down from the hills and sometimes it blocks the uh, uh, roads it may sometime even you know change the path of the rivers also okay why because it uh, falls in between the path of the water so where the water will go water won't stop it will change the path isn't it then sometimes the pipelines can uh, get you know it uh yeah the which pipeline i'm talking about first earlier i was talking about the um, the this one the water pipelines okay now i'm talking you know nowadays the gas the domestic gases are available in the pipes isn't it if it gets broken the just imagine the amount of uh, destruction because uh, the fire will spread like anything and it is going to take the lives of thousands and thousands of people isn't it so now we'll write and then we'll talk over okay so first of all we are talking about what we are talking about first of all this one small thing seismograph it's an instrument uh, which is used to measure the uh, which records the what the seismic waves okay and on the richter scale what can be measure richter scale richter scale records the magnitude of the earthquake okay now after this what is the effects of the earthquake what are the effects of the earthquake this we are going to study but the effect depends upon what effects are affected by what isn't it the effects are affected by what the effects are affected by two things children one is magnitude of the uh, earthquake and the second is the population of the area okay so these are the effects of the like effects depends upon these two things okay now we are going to talk purely about the effects which we were discussing only so this one is this okay so okay so what are the effects first of all the buildings 
big buildings collapsed which give rise to okay what happens big buildings collapse which give rise to lot of destruction of both lives and property okay then railway tracks get broken water pipeline get burst okay gas pipelines electrical pipe electrical lines get damaged okay okay so uh, we were we were discussing it all together I'll just write few more points dams gets broken or cracks appears in them big towers trees falls okay how many point i have written now six give rise to solid liquefaction this will discuss children we have not discussed this okay so now what are the points there are many points i do not know whether it will come over here give rise to landslides okay even uh, tsunami still few points are left where to write now we'll discuss this one first okay so we are talking about the effects of the earthquake okay so first of all the first first effect which you can see is what children big buildings collapse collapsed which give rise to lot of destruction okay so what is happening children the big buildings see uh, big buildings means what the building if the building is tall the building is big that means the number of people living in the building will be definitely more isn't it if a house get damaged okay if a house a bungalow get damaged very few people will be uh, having you know uh any kind of problem maybe the give rise to death or injuries whatever but if a building falls children just imagine the number of the people who dies or who uh who get injured okay well because the uh buildings nowadays we have very very big and tall buildings obviously the number of the houses the number of the flats will be more in the building and eventually it is going to give rise to the greater loss of lives and loss of property too when the building collapses children just imagine the person who has spent so much of money i think you know the whole uh, a mediocre who makes the house uh, it takes you know whole of his life to make a good house his whole hard uh, uh, hard and money 
he puts into that isn't it so it's not an easy job for a person to make his own house isn't it so it really uh, it is really a great loss for a person if he loses his house isn't it because even you know children the uh, price the rates of the um, flats and the bungalows are very very high isn't it it is not possible to make suddenly a new one and at the point at the time when there is totally like so much of destruction has taken place when so many thing has already gone out of control isn't it so this is a major issue that the big buildings collapse which give rise to lot of destruction of not only lives but also what is happening over here the property also is this getting destructed isn't it so people also lose their life and after at the same time they also lose whatever they have with them no second one the railway tracks get broken that means the whatever uh, the means are there the means of transport the means of communication the way uh, the way to contact with each other if, if we talk about a normal person isn't it he is not going to take a plane and going to move from here to uh, one place to another but then what he is he will be taking he will be taking obviously the railway track the railway i mean to say he will be going by railways or be, will be taking buses isn't it so this track even the routes the roads get broken isn't it so again a great damage for the government also because it's again not an easy job to again resettle the tracks to again make it isn't it so again a big destruction now next one water pipelines get burst now when the water pipeline gets burst it becomes very serious it becomes very problematic because then the people do not get good uh, you know or the uh, drinking water the water will be available here and there but it won't be safe to have that kind of water because again it is going to give lot of diseases isn't it so again when the pipelines the water pipeline get burst again uh, uh, see the people are on roads now isn't it the people after earthquakes they are already on roads they do not have any house to be in they do not have anything with them and along with that even now they do not have water also to like safe drinking water so again a big problem now gas pipeline this one is the disastrous one children gas pipeline and electrical lines if this catch fire if this gets broken and the fire spreads it is again the second thing which uh, you know it increases the effects of the earthquake why because earthquake is there already people are like you know i'm talking uh, of the case when this is going on like you know so when earthquake is there the effects can be seen that problem the, the people are already facing that problem on the top of that if the gas pipelines or it gets broken the it catches fire and the electrical even this fire is very very disastrous dangerous and if this happens then what happens children again it really becomes a big problematic thing for the for all like you know for the whole country itself okay now dams gets broken now sometimes you know the vibrations vibrations are vibrations the surface it can the focus which is uh, you know um, i can say the focus which is made is created inside the surface of the earth it can be created anywhere it can be created inside the river it can be created created inside the sea it can be created the part which is very near to rivers that means dams can be broken and if the dams get broken children then what happen then the water it may be broken completely and sometimes the cracks developed over there if the cracks develop over there it's okay it's uh, we have time for like you know next time to be repaired or something like that but if it gets broken just what happened the water from that part the river it totally enters the city or the village and it destroy it destroys the whole city okay now big towers tree falls if the person of some person or somebody is there under that so again loss of life okay now give rise to solid liquefaction this i'll tell you now give rise to landslides and tsunamis now see what is landslide and tsunami we are going to discuss this three things in detail so we'll just uh, note this points and then we will talk about this three points in detail because these are very uh, you know major points which needs to be written on the blackboard also so please just write it down 
So, we were discussing about solid liquefaction like we were talking about the effects of the earthquake but as there was I told there was no place to write so I told that this three points will be talking separately. So, I will write now children the effect of effects of earthquake now in this we were discussing some point children so it give rise to solid ok it give rise to solid liquefaction So, I am saying this that solid liquefaction happens, but what actually it is children. So, you know there are certain materials which are water granular, granular saturated that means water is there inside that ok, uh, but actually water is there, but these are solids ok, these are solid, but these solid particles they lose their strength are you getting it clear there are certain solids which lose their strength and they get converted into what they get converted into liquid. Now, if these solid thing gets converted into liquid children and these things like means what I am talking about this soil, soil particles only is not it. So, when these they lose their strength and they get converted into liquid just imagine what will happen the soil will what it will go inside is not it that part will go inside and on this part of the buildings are there and if the, the part below the uh, buildings if it goes under solid liquefaction then just imagine children that see solid is there is not it on this solid the buildings are there is not it. If that solid part get converted into liquid can uh, liquid hold anything it is going to what the the thing that particular part will be submerged is not it that will go inside. So, it takes place what is happening children solid liquefaction takes place which is really very very disastrous ok. So, what happens in this I will just write the definition of this beta <laughs> beta means it comes you know sometimes in talking. So, as we are teachers so it comes ok. So, water saturated granular material lose or uh, loses its strength and get transformed get transformed from solid to liquid it is very very dangerous as it may cause it may cause tilting or sinking of bridges buildings ETC ok. So, I have written over here what is the meaning of solid liquefaction ok. So, what it means children you know it can also be uh, said as solid liquefaction ok children. So, it can also be known as what solid liquefaction. So, 
okay so it can be known as solid liquefaction also okay now what does it mean children it means that the granular part okay that solid part will be getting converted into liquid now it's very obvious that if the solid thing is getting converted into liquid so what will happen the now see this is a solid thing okay now on this some uh, object is standing standing means it is uh, it is placed over here now when this part won't be there it will be it won't be there it will get converted into liquid so again the thing which is standing on this will be tilted isn't it so what is happening children now this is a part where the solid is there on this something is standing standing is the sense some building is placed over here the building is there so if this part get converted into liquid so what will happen obviously this part will get tilted now if this part get tilted so what can happen even this building can what it can be collapsed it can fall down isn't it the bridge even the bridge can be uh, it can be totally destroyed in this way so that is the reason children this is very very dangerous what happens in this the solid part whatever the solid granules are there okay it loses its strength okay that strength is uh, uh, lost and that uh, gets converted into liquid and what does what it is known as it can be known as solid liquefaction okay so this is again one of the effect of the earthquake and you know what is happening children earthquake has uh, already you know because of the earthquake like lot of destruction is already there but you know all these things the you know what floods landslides tsunamis okay tsunami is the other part and uh, the solid liquefaction so all these part you know the breaking of uh, pipelines uh, of the like the water pipelines bursting of um, uh, this one electrical pipelines or catching fire of uh, gas pipelines these all things you know what it do what it does i'm so sorry what it does you know it just increases the chaos it just increases the destruction it just increases the natural calamity okay that means one thing is there and on that the second problem comes and really really becomes very very dangerous and many many you know the the city if i talk about the city the whole city get destroyed if such kind of things you know happen all together it really becomes very very like the condition becomes very pathetic so all this things should be uh, what has to be done what can be done that we will talk about now we will talk about the next point which i was discussing that is landslide okay so i will talk about landslide now it is it can be seen as the effect of earthquake or uh, in some hilly areas this is a very natural phenomenon children which which is a natural phenomenon like landslide the now you know the heavy rocks the snow uh, the balls they keep on falling from the hills you know there are certain parts uh, hilly areas when you go over there with your car or your means your own vehicle you cannot honk over there because there is a great danger of landslides so so what is landslide children the falling of big rocks the falling of big rocks on snow pieces in the valleys or even you can write the falling of big rocks or snow piece piece or pieces in the valleys okay so what happened children due to this loss of why i can write uh, loss of what what happens when this fall so loss of property and lives children how property children because when it falls on the road busy road okay so what will happen the 
automobiles gets broken isn't it it gets crushed rather okay and lives so whenever the wherever the people are there they are going to be you know they will come under this so again this is a part of uh, like it destroys it takes many lives again isn't it so the falling of big rocks or snow is known as what landslide and why does it happen children see normally it keeps on you know it's a normal course in the hilly areas okay in hilly areas in hilly areas it is seen very often okay but can increase due to tremor of earthquake okay so children see uh, when you go to certain hilly areas you will find that you know falling of landslides and all these are very very common it 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 happens every now and then but you know sometimes it get very increased due to the earthquake okay but due to the tremor when the earth shakes when the surface of the earth is shaking so obviously this is going to fall isn't it the stones the big rocks which are just you know are already in position to fall down so obviously these are going to fall down and you know children why it is happening see it is a natural phenomenon but still you know from that hilly area from that hilly area lot of explosion is done and roads are being made isn't it if you go some uh, to some part maybe you go to kashmir you will find many um, part over there you know you will see many part over there where uh, the hills are there and then the roads are very narrow roads very narrow roads are being made now there is no uh, way you know for the vehicles to move this side because there to we know like there is no place only the uh, big valleys there one day is going to fall down and the side hills are there if you honk even uh, so the uh, land the stones the rocks it comes down it's really very risky but then it is due to the men only why because men is only uh, you know making the roads destroying the hills and so this balance the whole balance get disturbed and that is the reason why this uh, happens very often okay i'm again saying this is this happens naturally also this happens naturally also without interference of men also this will happen but due to interference of men this has increased and again when we talk about earthquake again this get increased why because already it is already the landslides are take, taking place okay landslides are there that means that the stones the big uh, pieces of rocks are falling down but due to the human activity again it is increased and due to earthquake again due to the shaking of the surface of the earth again what will happen this stones fall down isn't it the stones falls down so one has to be very very careful when uh, during earthquakes you know we should not should avoid such kind of uh, places okay now what is the next which we discussed we discuss tsunami so tsunami i will discuss children after totally discussing the earthquake okay because it will be little you know going away from the topic so we'll discuss as the effect of earthquake only but we'll just talk about the earthquake first so till now we have discussed the effects of earthquake okay and we all have also discussed children that earthquake depends upon what children it depends like earthquake depends upon what means the the effects of earthquake isn't it the effects of earthquake depends upon what children like whatever destruction will be there it will be more or less it depends upon two things i told you it depends upon the population of that particular area and it depends upon the magnitude of that particular area magnitude of the earthquake isn't it sometime it happens to them so it depends upon the magnitude of the area and it depends uh, oh my god it depends upon the magnitude of the earthquake and it depends upon the uh, population of that area isn't it so 
Okay, so after that we discuss about the effects of the earthquake, isn't it? And really believe me, this all are really, you know, all these effects just add to the you know, pain of human beings, you know. Like one is suffering from uh, one problem and on the above, on the top of that, if the second and third gets added, it's really very, very disastrous. So we'll just, just stop this topic. So what we have discussed in this whole thing, we have discussed about the effects of the earthquake. So uh, what were those? The whole totally, you know, the total life of a common man get disturbed, isn't it? Why? Because the roads are broken, the railway lines gets broken. Sometimes I talk in present tense, I tell that roads are broken. So it's okay, like, uh, uh, like sometimes, you know, like we talk while discussing in present tense, so it's, it's totally okay, nothing wrong in that, okay. So, what happens, the road gets broken, the, even the, the floods may be there, the, due to the explosion, the, the gas uh, leakage, the fire can be there, tsunamis can be there, lens lights can be there, isn't it, then the solid liquefaction can be there, okay, then what else can be there children? Uh, above uh, this, uh, the building get collapsed, the towers get collapsed, the trees falls down, isn't it? Then the, you know, the dams gets broken and all this thing, you know, they just increase the pain, the suffering of the human beings, isn't it? So, what has to be done? What has to be done to, uh, you know, prevent all these things? See, Frankly speaking, we cannot prevent ourselves, uh, uh, just only one way is to move from there. But still, if we are there and earthquake occurs, then what are the things, what are the measures which has to be taken? And even after earthquake, what are the measures which has to be taken? So we will discuss a bit about that and then we will proceed, okay? So please note these two points. Tsunami will be discussing after discussing earthquake completely, okay. So now in the next topic after rubbing, after cleaning the board, I will be talking about the preventions, measures, okay, which can be taken before the earthquake and definitely what are the uh, steps which has to be taken after the earthquake, okay. Because we all are the part of Though, you know, though all the human beings, we are connected, a bonding is there, we all are human beings and it's our social obligation to help each other, isn't it? So definitely we are going to talk about both these topics. So please note so that I can move to the next topic.